Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the Zoom tool in Toonly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Did you know Toonly has a camera feature? You can use it to zoom in and out on your scenes as well as pan left and right. Now we do already have a tutorial on the camera tool, but I thought I'd go over it again. It can be a little finicky at times and we do get a lot of questions on it. So let's just take a quick look. If you go down here in the timeline, you have the camera and this is to show the camera overlay. So the camera is always on, but if you use this slider here, you can see like kind of like the viewfinder. So you notice it just changed the color and my whole scene is now kind of has a blue cast to it. If I turn it off, then I can see the full color. Okay, so by default, the camera is all the way zoomed out. So to change the view, you need to adjust one of the camera keyframes. So these little dots here are keyframes. Okay, so the beginning and ending keyframe. So let's say we want to start like this with the wide view and at the end we want it to be zoomed in here on our little scene here. So we're going to click our ending keyframe and now my little overlay has these little controls where I can adjust the camera's view. Okay, So we'll go something like that. As I rewind, you see the camera movement because the overlay changes. So that's your camera movement. So let's hit play. Here's my scene and here's my camera slowly zooming in to this little thing there. If you'd like to see a different view, hit the actual preview button and now you'll see the camera movement like so. Of course, I would tweak my scene a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. Now, what if you want the camera to be static for a while? So maybe the first half of the scene, it's wide. And then maybe about here is where we want the camera move to begin. Well, you can set another keyframe. So let's say right here, just double click and you get a new keyframe. Okay, so now you can adjust it and I'm going to move it back so it's full screen. So now there should be no movement between these two keyframes because this one starts full screen, this one is also full screen, and then from here we're going to have the camera movement. So let's just take a quick preview. Static, 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 here we go, and boom. You can drag your keyframes to adjust. So maybe we want a real quick, you know, one, one and a half second zoom here at the end. Let's see how that looks. So static, 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 and should be coming up pretty soon, boom. What if you don't like this at all? So let's go ahead and delete this. You want to delete this guy, right? How do you delete this keyframe? Select the keyframe, hit option, and click it. Okay, and now it's gone. So option click. Finally, you can do multiple movements in a scene. So let's start with a wide scene. And then let's have some characters over here on this couch, or a character. Let's have this little hiking guy sitting here. I'm going to start here, full screen. And then we're going to zoom into him. How about right here? So I'm going to double tap. I'm going to select the keyframe and I'm going to put it on this guy. And then over here, let's go a couple seconds. Double tap to create a new keyframe, select it, and let's have it pan over to this guy in our little special offer. And then finally at the end, we're gonna have a zoom out. So let's take a preview and then we will be done. Okay, so that is a little, little much. 
in a slower one more preview there we go it's a little better still makes me a little dizzy but i think now you have an idea of how the camera movement works so that's the basics of using the camera movement tool in Toonly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.